championship of the world between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Robert Whittaker. Australia and New Zealand at times are aligned, certainly not in this matchup tonight. Not tonight, not tonight, because both of these guys both want to win this fight. They're two of the most talented martial artists in the world, and both feel as though they have the perfect style to beat the other. All right, early round one here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big ball for man. Now he gets back to race. Man, how about the steam behind that Whitaker jab tonight? Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up and the boxing. And that is on full display right now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Just a slip there. Body kick now by Adesanya. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Whitaker. You don't know when that leg kick comes. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker. Going orthodox now. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. We're under a minute to go in round one. Well, he's always on a counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Adesanya. Oh, beautiful land there. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did. Not recognize him. high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice jab. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, both fighters now ready to go with round two. Israel Adesanya. Let's go, guys. Fight. And Robert Whitaker. Whitaker gets it. And to go to the top. This fight's going to be over. This. What a great way of mixing up in the pack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his he thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very bad. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whittaker. 
and striking at a 45% clip tonight against Israel Adesanya. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Misses with the left hook. Under three minutes now, remaining round two. Well, a really good six. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend and the referee's going to stop it. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Nice punch there by Whitaker. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice job of hiding that head kick. They continue to exchange. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Come on, there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first... This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Adesanya's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be left. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you know what? You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Can't take many of those, you better check. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Pinpoint accuracy on the kick there by Adesanya. It's just hard to know what's coming, and there's no stop in this game. I mean, there's no stop, and there's no tell. He's just at a different level when you're standing on the feet of Israel Adesanya. He's the last outfit. He's a character. He's, he, he just has it, man. He's that guy that gets people to tune in. They say it's great. They get their first, and it got right to the target. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Robert Whittaker. Oh, he's got him right here. What a fight. Oh, big left. An elbow. Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to 
to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's getting lit up. He's got him hurt here. Oh, nice right oh. here. DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, four seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.